What do you think a spy looks like? Well, if your perception of spying is what you've seen in the movies, you've probably missed the target a bit. Because spying has changed a lot over the last 25 years. And the head of MI6, Alex Younger, has just revealed a huge secret. His first ever mission. I had been given, as my first job, the task of penetrating an organisation intent on genocide in the Western Balkans. Starting from that blank piece of paper, I had to find my way to the heart of that organisation and obtain secret information for the British government. It took me to places I never thought I would visit, often travelling under a false identity. But it's just not as easy as that in the digital age. The chemical attack in Salisbury is a key example of how modern-day technology can be used to help investigators. The Salisbury spies were spotted on some of the many CCTV cameras. When their photos were then published, it was possible for other people to spot them. But also, it showed up the fact that these were names they travelled under which didn't really have backstories on social media. If you don't have that kind of presence, if you don't have Facebook profiles or LinkedIn profiles or things like that, it can almost make you look like a spy because you haven't got those. So maybe you're allowed to be a little bit suspicious the next time somebody tells you they don't do social media. And in the case of Big Brother is watching you, the UK is one of the largest CCTV networks in the world. There was a massive boom in the UK in 1994 when the government launched an initiative backing the expansion of surveillance schemes. That's made spying a bit more difficult too. What that means is you're likely to be captured uh, on some CCTV camera somewhere and then people can do facial recognition. Either people can recognise you or they can even run those pictures through databases to match you to who you really are. So if you want to be a spy now, you'll really need to blend in with society as much as possible which is why MI6 are trying to recruit a wider range of agents, particularly women and people from ethnic minorities. We are intelligence officers, but we don't do what you think. MI6, secretly, we're just like you. They want a more diverse range of people in MI6, partly because it does help with the spying, with going undercover, but also because they want more diverse ways of thinking so that all the people don't think and look at a problem in the same way. This is an unofficial, official tap on the shoulder. Aren't there more qualified? I want you. Why? Well, your research clearly speaks for itself. You're intuitive and you make insane suggestions. Thank you. The image of a spy has traditionally been a man in a trench coat, usually introduced with a tap on the shoulder. But thanks to recent television dramas, that image has changed. MI6 are hopeful it will translate into real life. <laughs>